kamikaze, where suicide missions undertaken by Japanese military aviators from the Empire of Japan against Allied naval vessels in the final stages of the Pacific Campaign in World War II. The purpose was to inflict more significant damage on warships than conventional attacks allowed. Estimates suggest that at least 47 Allied vessels, ranging from PT boats to escort carriers, were sunk by kamikaze attacks, and around 300 others were damaged. These attacks resulted in the deaths of approximately 3,800 kamikaze pilots and over 7,000 naval personnel. Kamikaze attacks were perceived as more accurate and destructive than conventional methods, with some pilots successfully hitting their targets even after their aircrafts were severely damaged. Approximately 14% of kamikaze attacks resulted in hitting a ship. Today, we'll present the list of all destroyers that were sunk by kamikaze attacks. Without further delay, let's get started. USS Mahan DD-364 She was the lead ship of the United States Navy's Mahan-class destroyers. Mahan was on patrol between Leyte and Ponson Island on December 7, 1944, when nine Japanese bombers and four escort fighters targeted her. Despite drowning four enemy aircraft, Mahan suffered three direct kamikaze hits, causing severe damage and leading to her abandonment. One officer and five men were missing and 13 seriously wounded. The ship was subsequently sunk by a U.S. destroyer due to being unsalvageable. The Reed DD-369 She was a Mahan-class destroyer used by the United States Navy. While escorting reinforcements near Surigao Straits on 11th December 1944, Reed was attacked by seven Japanese kamikaze planes. One aircraft crashed into a starboard rigging, causing significant damage forward, while another hit the port quarter, resulting in a catastrophic explosion that broke the ship apart, sinking it within just a few minutes. 103 crew members were lost. USS Bush DD-529 She was a Fletcher-class destroyer built for the US Navy during World War II. Operating as a radar picket ship off Okinawa on April 6, 1945, Bush engaged multiple enemy planes before being hit by three Japanese kamikazes. The successive attacks caused devastating damage and the ship was abandoned by 227 survivors just before it sank resulting in the loss of 87 crew members. USS Colhan DD-801 again a Fletcher-class destroyer of the U.S. Navy. On April 6, 1945, during the first heavy kamikaze raid of the Battle of Okinawa, Colhoun was struck on the starboard side by one kamikaze leading to further destruction from another kamikaze that crashed into the bridge. The damage was too severe to save the ship, and it was eventually sunk by gunfire from USS Case and Young. The casualties included 34 killed and 21 wounded. USS Mannard DD-733 She was an Allen M. Sumner-class destroyer of the United States Navy. Midway through the afternoon watch on 12 April 1945 off the northern coast of Okinawa, she was caught the full fury of the kamikaze. The first kamikaze broke the destroyer's keel midships. Mannard L. took a second and fatal hit from a Yokosuka MXY-7 Oka kamikaze rocket powered flying bomb causing the destroyer to break in two and sink rapidly. The number of casualties of her sinking was 84 killed. USS Pringle DD-477 A Fletcher-class destroyer, assigned to radar picket duty, she shot down two kamikazes on 16 April 1945 before a third crashed into her bridge and plowed through the superstructure deck abaft the base of number one stack. A single 1,000-pound bomb or two 500-pounders penetrated the main and superstructure decks, causing the vessel to split in two. Six minutes later, 258 survivors watched Pringle slide beneath the surface. 69 were killed. USS Little DD-803 This Fletcher-class destroyer was sunk by Kamikaze. While on picket duty on May 3, 1945, USS Little was hit by several enemy kamikazes in quick succession. 
Little was first hit on the port side. Within four minutes, three more enemy kamikazes had hit her, breaking her keel, demolishing the amidship section. Later, Little broke up and sank. 31 of the Little's approximately 320 crew members perished, while another 49 suffered injuries. USS Luce DD-522 A U.S. Fletcher-class destroyer on 4 May 1945, during the Battle of Okinawa, two kamikaze planes attacked her from the port side. Lu shot down one, but the explosion from the bomb it had carried caused a power failure. She was again struck in the aft section by the second kamikaze. The port engine was knocked out, engineering spaces flooded, and later Lu took a heavy list to starboard and the order to abandon ship was passed. Moments later, she slid beneath the surface in a violent explosion carrying 126 of her 312 officers and men with her. USS Morrison DD-560, also a Fletcher-class destroyer, faced a grim situation on May 4, 1945 when it was attacked during the Battle of Okinawa. The first attack was initiated by a Mitsubishi A6M0 in a suicide run which caused the bomb to splash harmlessly off the starboard beam. The second attack led to the loss of electrical equipment and heavy casualties. The next subsequent three attacks from old twin-float biplanes, despite intense anti-aircraft fire, caused further damage to Morrison. The fourth hit caused severe listing to starboard and the ship sank rapidly, resulting in the loss of most of the crew below decks, a total of 152 casualties. USS Drexler DD-741 she is an Allen M. Sumner-class destroyer of the U.S. Navy. On 28 May 1945, while she was bound for Okinawa and duty on a radar picket station, one kamikaze crashed onto Drexler and cutting off all power in starting large gas line fires. Later, she was again hit by another aircraft, and the impact rolled her onto her beam ends, causing her to sink in less than 50 seconds. Because of the speed with which she sank, casualties were heavy. 168 dead and 52 wounded. USS William D. Porter, TD-579 A Fletcher-class U.S. destroyer encountered a dramatic incident on June 10, 1945, when an obsolete Aichi D-3 a Val dive bomber unexpectedly attacked. Later, it exploded. Despite the crew's strenuous efforts to extinguish fires and repair damage to keep the ship afloat, it was futile. Just 12 minutes after the order of abandoned ship was given, William D. Porter heeled over to starboard and sank by the stern. Miraculously, the crew avoided any fatal injuries. USS Twix DD-591 Another Fletcher-class destroyer was on radar picket duty off Senagashima on June 16, 1945. During this assignment, a single low-flying plane dropped a torpedo that hit twigs on the port side, causing an explosion in her number 2 magazine. The attacking plane completed its kamikaze mission, crashing into the destroyer and engulfing it in flames. Within an hour, the ship sank, resulting in 126 crew members losing their lives, while 188 were rescued. USS Callahan DD-792, also a Fletcher-class destroyer, faced a harrowing attack on July 28, 1945 by a Yokosuka K-5Y biplane from the Japanese force. The undetected plane crashed into Callahan on the starboard side. It exploded and one of the aircraft's bombs penetrated the aft engine room. The destroyer flooded and the fires which ignited anti-aircraft ammunition prevented nearby ships from rendering aid. Callahan sank on 28 July 1945 with the loss of 47 members of her crew. She was the last Allied ship sunk by kamikaze attack during the war. And with this, the buzz is winding up for today, but stay tuned for more videos from the buzz.